It was fueled up and ready for takeoff, but a late night hearing stopped the plane in its tracks. The European Court of Human Rights issued last minute injunctions to halt the deportation until a UK legal challenge can be heard next month. We have to interrupt the business model of the gangs. Under a controversial new policy, asylum seekers who come to the UK by boat risk being deported to Rwanda. Boris Johnson sees it as a deterrent to stop people smugglers in the English Channel. But the first flight sparked three days of court challenges. Gradually, a full plane became a near-empty one before being grounded altogether. What is happening uh, with the attempt to undermine the Rwanda policy? Uh, is that they are, uh, I'm afraid, uh, undermining everything that we're trying to do to support safe and legal routes uh, for people Absolutely. to come to the UK. Thank you once again. For we your spoke time. to an Iranian refugee in a British detention centre who recently arrived by boat. He'd been told to prepare for deportation before earning a late reprieve. Did you ever think that they would send you to Africa? I thought in the UK there were human rights, he says. But so far, I haven't seen any evidence. The people that we have seen, we've had lots of concerns about current mental health, um, histories of trauma in the past, histories of torture. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees has called the Rwanda plan all wrong, and Prince Charles is reported to have said the idea is appalling. Some of the most scathing criticism has come from senior leaders in the Church of England who say the policy is immoral and it shames Britain. But Boris Johnson's government is undeterred. The plan's been partially inspired by Australia's asylum seeker strategy, including offshore processing. It is disturbing to see Australian style policies kind of exported to the UK. And I do think that most British people don't want to see people punished for trying to seek asylum here. The government says it's willing to change the law to ensure the next plane takes off. Nick Dole, ABC News, London.